final capstone, one follows from the other like a waterfall. From It's a process where one thesis generates antithesis, leads to yet another synthesis, antithesis, and synthesis. What my primal Shinto is not. I also want to differentiate this from New Age. It is not an alternative to religion. Basically, there is a, from a psychopathic perspective, just analyzing human being nature, I perceive a tendency, even if they're not Christian, they're not Islamic, they're not certain predominant religions, there is a fundamental tendency for human beings to seek consolation, to seek catharsis, to seek some type of self-improvement, self-cultivation. I, I want to state clearly that my Shinto, my variant of Shinto, is not a system of New Age self-improvement cultivation. And you do have these vibes when you go to certain New Age-like places where there's a certain cultural context. The problem I see here is that it is essentially trying to take from religion and divorcing it from religion. Primal nature Shinto is not a replacement theology, a replacement religion. It is exactly as nature exists. It is exactly as nature exists. It is not trying to cultivate you into some type of new age serenity, which to me would be complete and utter nonsense. So when I reject religion, I'm not just rejecting the mainstream religions. I'm also rejecting any type of potential new age cult that seeks to cultivate you into some, you know, basically this is American pop culture, make you more like, make you like a hippie. <laughs> That's that. I'm not interested in that. I just want to be very clear about that. There are people who are serene. There are people who are vicious. There are people who are like wolves. And there are people who are like lambs. The point of Primal Shinto is not to mold any of their natures. The point of Primal Shinto is to encapsulate the entirety of nature as it is. It is not a religion. It is not a new age thing trying to get you to cultivate something. We are not here to offer you some type of heart sutra. We are not here to offer you some type of new age program to make you calm and serene in a new age manner. Whatever your birth nature is, let that be your birth nature. And that is fine to us. And now we want to pivot to another topic, right? So Kenny Veach, Kenny Veach, there are, you know, actually, it's sort of a, you know, sidebar topic, but basically someone um, remarked, why didn't you go inside the cave? You were there at the M cave. Well, you know, basically, whatever, who, whichever bozo or idiot, if they bother to watch the subsequent videos, they will see that we go inside both caves, but except we had to do very intri intri intricate yoga moves, yoga-like moves, to not disturb the crumbly rocks. Basically, they are not caves you can squeeze your half body into. We had to try to we had to try to hold ourselves in a way to not tear down all the rocks because these are not they are not sizable caves. If you're not careful, you can easily dislodge the top rock or bottom rock. They are very flimsy. A geologist can weigh in. They are very flimsy. If you put weight on it, you can easily dislodge an entire chunk of rock. And which is something I want to preserve this place to be as beautiful as it is today, as it will be tomorrow, as it was yesterday. When Kitty Veach walked by those two caves. And he said, those aren't the caves that I'm looking for. The type of cave I'm looking for is deep and it's dark and it's, you know, it's about level with the ground. It's about, it's about my height. It's about level with the ground. And so basically, you know, basically so, and then in terms of direction, again, I don't want to be too much of a thug here, but basically this place is my backyard. 
you know, I'm, I don't know what to say. If, if the federal government ever tries to ban me from this place, would I try to enter it illegally? I don't even want to conjecture here, but it's my, it's, it's, it, to me, it's a religious thing. If they ever ban me from these grounds, I will try, I will literally try to file a Supreme Court case on spiritual beliefs. I don't know if I can qualify as a religion, but there is definitely a spiritual worshipful relationship between me and this mountain here. But my goal is really to recover the, the person of Kenny Veach. No shenanigans beyond, I've already talked about shenanigans. As in terms of, can I get lost here? Well, if the person who talked about, I'm glad that's his last search because because th that person is going to get lost and become, you know, a victim, a casualty. Actually, if they had bothered to watch me this coming down the peak ridge line at night. So to, to not be arrogant, I have a better chance of getting lost up in your mama where somebody else, where anyone else's mama than, than I do on my own backyard, than I do in the bosom of my own goddess. So I don't want to be a stand-up comedian, but getting lost, I have a better chance of getting lost up in someone's mama than I, than I do in my own backyard, in the bosom of the goddess that I worship.